and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Yes, and it is the fourth round of round two. That makes sense, right? If you're watching, you know what's up. Yes. Which means uh, that this is everyone's second pack will be done. The, yes, everybody's second pack will be opened coming into the day. The team competition right now is in just Fierce. such uncharted territory. It is unbelievable. So before we dive on in, let's just give you the overview. So currently, last week, we know uh, that Stephen N. Steven pulled that 132 point pack on the rookie debut, launching Team Electric into first in the overall team competition with 268 po points. But following that is Team Fire, Team Water, both with 212 points. Tied. Tied, and then Team Grass at 210 points. Two points back! So what's even crazier about that coming into the day is that uh, Razi the King, who has been leading the charge on this season for most of the season so yeah. far, with 110 points, is opening their second pack today. Right, so we got to keep an eye on that one. Yes, yeah, so we've got that one. And then Team Water, Team Fire, and Team Grass will all have some of like their top tier contenders from month one coming into the equation. So right. like, if, so they'll if move their numbers up. They can move their numbers up. Yeah. Yes, they have the opportunity to like add points to the overall totals. Team Electric, the first point or the lowest, yeah, the highest place person they have who's opening a pack today is Carly with just six points. But I believe Carly is our possible two-time champion. Right. So it's like it's like Team Electricity doesn't have a lot of opportunity to move the needle, but the person who is leading the charge is a two-time champ. So anything's possible. The team competition is crazy. I have no idea who's going to end up with the pins at the end of the round, but uh, I do know that it is time to spin the wheel of energy after the intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As promised, here is the Wheel All of right. Energy. Jay, would you do the honors? Is it a return to darkness? No, it's oh, going to be grass today. You think it's grass? It's grass, it's grass. Could it be grass's day? I, I've been I've been right the last two times, and sure enough, it can be oh, the one and only. Dude, I don't know how you're doing this. That is so weird. That's three in a row. All right, where's Leafy on? Let's oh my thing. gosh. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable! Wow. Which is gonna work out rather well because one of our randomly chosen common chase cards on the day is gonna be a Roserade, include uh, also Yamper, who we've seen in the past before actually, and Toracat. Boom! So that Roserade is gonna be <clears throat> worth a double, but is that our uncommon card? It is indeed. Yes, so a little bit harder to find. A little but if bit you do harder. find it, double points on it. Double points. But on as it. we know, there's a lot of grass Pokemon in this set. There so. are. Yes, this should be a, this could be a <clears throat> high skewed day. Let's see how it goes. Indeed. All right. Let's kick things off. Our first contestant of the day is Aaron B. Playing for Team Fire with three points. Yeah, they're gonna need some big numbers. I need some big numbers. They're gonna they're gonna pull for fire here. Let's see. Are we gonna? Is this what kind of box is this? You know, is it like a uh, come out of the gate gun swinging, guns blazing, buns blazing? I think it could be. Could be. I feel good about it. Already, this. just big one right out of the gate. Let's find right out. out. Gate. Boom. We have the dark energy. We have Electabuzz. A brand level score. score. Roselia, Iron Vines, Sandy Shocks, Tranquil, the Full Metal Lab, and the Iron Valley. And so, at the end of it, really just the three points. Just three points to kick already, things off. You can see the grass are the grass is here. The grass is greener, as grass, they say. Exactly. exactly. And team, team Grass hopes to see quite a bit of it in the bottom of the competition, but only by two points. If they score three points in the team competition, they will be in second overall. There you go. Is who is yeah? Who is there like? I guess we, I don't know. What is their what is their fifth place person? Oh God, their fifth place person? I don't oh know. my yeah. gosh, you're asking me the hard questions. Let me see. actually that was actually not. Oh, so that bad. was. Uh, Sierra Cawthorn with 23 points. So they just need grass needs someone to get to 24. 
five to tie it. That's yeah, all. Yeah. Easy. No big deal. Easy. All right. So now we all know right. what we're looking well, for. Well, speaking of, we got John Smith. John Smith. Here we go. Jamestown founder. Yep. Top favorite Pokemon are Mew, Mewtwo, Darkrai, Lucario, and Dialga. I don't think any of those are in this set, though. All right. None well, that we've seen. Let's see what we got here. We got the Echoltricity there mm, off the top. We got nice. the Turdinator. Would have been great last week. We got the Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Heatmore, the Great Tusk, the Bronzong, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Explorer's Guidance, Excadrill, and the, the Coridon. Wow, a very disfortunate turn for John Smith, who can't even pull a Grass Pokemon. Man. All, and had two points coming in, so they're at that dreaded three point mark after two rounds. Really just not much we can Ugh, spin with that I unfortunately other just, than hoping that your third pack will be magic just, for you. That's all you can really hope on at this point. Next up we've got Jacob C playing for Echoltricity as well. Loved Pokemon for a long long time building a national Pokedex of cards. That's fun. Oh wow okay. That is cool. Man, it would be crazy to own one of every card, even. That just alone would be quite the, the feat. I can't even imagine how many thousands it would entail. I know, how many different cards are there? I right, and then point. eventually you have to get that Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the problem, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Right? I suppose like, you could buy like a really heavily damaged one. You could, just to have it, and then you'd for have the sake it. of it. Yeah. Right, like yeah. you can buy like a, a, a PSA 3 Charizard. Right, you know? who's to say it needs to be nice? Right, Doesn't have, then you have it. Then you have it. It doesn't have to be first edition or shadowless. You could just have it. You just have it. Yeah, there you go. All right, the Grotto will score. The Fin is in Rapidash, Bolton, Mudsdale, Sizzlepeed, Relicanth, and Roaring Moon. Just two. Just two. I gotta Man. tell you, though, I really like the art on this Grotto. That one, it's like. It, it, it is really cool. It feels like very, like, uh, like 151 kind of art. Yes, it reminds me of the Bulbasaur card yeah. from the original. Yeah, yeah. It does. I like it's it. It's like, sort of like very hand drawn in nature, not mm -hmm. overly three dimensional. Right. Just nice, just nice art, you know? All right, there we go. Jacob C. Nothing too crazy. You're gonna bring your point total to six. Next up is Fluffy Duck. The fluffiest, the fluffiest of duckiest. There we go. Let's let's see what unpack, they can do. Unpack. Here we go. I see a good omen right uh -oh, there. Oh, two does multiplier for Fluffer Duck. Oh, they've got the brand the the yes. the Roselia, the, 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 the Metagross, the, the Rosa. Oh, that's, that's two. two times two, so at least four. The Rock yeah. Rock, the Carvana will not score. And the oh, Iron, Iron Leaves, which is also grass. Okay, oh my so gosh! Extra okay. point there. Yeah, let's make sure we do all of our math. I know we right, got a so bunch of weird ones. Okay, so two twenty-seven, so three four. So four. Okay, it's four. Five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight times, times two, two 16. sixteen for Fluffy Duck. Wow, there we go. Okay. Told you that grass was going to come in handy. Here I know, and go. so that brings Fluffy Duck up to eighteen points. So not quite the twenty-five that they need in order to be scoring, but I do think that puts Old Fluffster in a solid position for next month's pack there you for go. potential to score. So we'll yes. keep an eye on you, Fluffy Duck. Indeed. All right, next up we have Dom of Fast and the Furious fame. Yes, indeed. Dominic Toretto, as we all know. Let's just, let's just check since I have a handy way of doing this here. So all, all Fire needs in order to be adding points to their overall score is 13. More than 13. More and, than 13. Okay, well that's, uh, well this, no, but Dom's already scoring points. Oh, so okay. Dom so Dom will be scoring points no matter what. Okay, so there we go. So we gotta keep that in mind for our grass score as well. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's right, that's true. So if anyone's already over 25, right, they're yes. there. All right, so we have Cutie Fly, Drillbur, Rillor will score, Ponyta, Reuniclus, Mist, Mist, Sauce Buck, Colossal, Heavy Baton, and Iron Thorn. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Five points. Points added to the fire total. There we go. So that means that uh, fire has just taken a little jump up to 217. There you go. All right. They've taken the lead from water, but still just for second place. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, what is, yeah, we said, oh, but so Alicia May, they just need to be scoring more than six points for electricity to be scoring. No, 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 no. That they, that, what I'm saying there is that, um, out of the players from Team Electricity, yeah. um, there are lots of candidates from Fire, Grass, and Water that are all on the top of the leaderboard that okay. we are opening for today. Oh, okay. All of Electricity's high scorers have already been pulled. Oh. And six points is the highest that any Team Electricity member will have coming into today. Okay, so, okay. I got gotcha. you. Yes. yes. Got it, got it, got it. Well, anyway, Alicia May, a.k.a. Spider-Man, a.k.a. Aunt May, same birthday as Peter Parker. We all see what's happening. We do. Yeah, you know, we it's, it's in the stars. Yep. Coming in with just one point one and 14 point. cents, so this could be a last place contender. It absolutely could. Let's see. Rock is pummeling. Off to a good start. The Bronzor, the Mighty Anna, the Duosian, Haunter, Cypher oh, Mini. Oh, that's going to do it. 
the bronze lung, the scyther, the scyther there and the Faragorif. Oh, which I think we saw last week as well, and it's not worth very much. No. I'll double check for safety as per always. 108 is 39 cents, so just one, two, three points. Yep, there you go. Um, I love it when points. scyther score points. I know, that's the best, there we go. Uh, that, but is that the first scoring Scyther of the season? Because it's the first time Grass has been the Titan. Yeah, I think it is. There so, we go. All right. Up, yeah, because it hasn't been the, the the chase card either. Right. Yeah. So you got a, a signed Reverse Hollow Scyther <laughs> that happened as good as you to can score. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, I almost didn't write the points down. Three. Oops. Three. That would have been a mistake. There we go. Alicia May, friendly neighborhood. Spider May. All right. Another one pointer coming up. It's Sir Dobbington. Sir Dobbington. Yes. Uh, is Girl Dad will be watching episodes with the whole fam! Hey, that's amazing! Well, hey, whole right. fam! I know, you know they've been watching all month, just like, is this our week? And last like, last week, or last month, we only had a one-point card for it. I know, so. so they're like, oh, come on! But at least if they get a one-point card again, then they're in contention for last place. That's exactly yeah. it. So we got the Roly Coley, the Azumaro, the Yamper will score, the Grubbin uh -oh. will score, the Iron Treads won't, the, the Buddy Buddy, buddy Poppin', poppin the Zara Aura won't, the Shroomish Shroom will, will, the, the Rapsco will, will, and the Oh my gosh! Wow. More scoring cards than non-scoring cards! Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points. Eight points out of just absolutely nothing otherwise. Way to go, that Sir Dobbington. Crazy. All right, Dobbington. Well done. Hope the fam enjoyed that pack. That's amazing. That, yeah. That's a fun way to get eight points that right is, there. That is. That's like so many right there. Too bad you didn't have any multipliers. I was hoping we get there. Oh boy, here we go. It's Kernak McClagan. Kernak! Just, just, just Kernak, I suppose. But um, our tribal of skill. Skill. As it were. Yeah, so here we go. Deeper. Yes. Here we go. Seven points coming in. Seven points. So how big can we go for Team Grass here? Looking at back in it, starting the day in what, last place? Yeah, so seven points for Kernak. So they're looking for at least 17. All right. In order to put points up for, for the team. The Cottony will score. So far, otherwise, not much here. The, oh, the Coridon. It's going to be, I think, a two point pack. Yeah, we'll double, double check, check the yeah. Coridon for you. So but. it's just two points. Yeah. There we go. So up to nine for Kernak. So better luck in pack three. Some of these packs are just loaded with the grass Pokemon, and others are really not. You know, we haven't seen an A-spec so far today, which usually there's two per box. It's been pretty consistent, yeah. something we can count on, so yeah. who's next? We got Veva. All right, Who's another single point contender with 14 cents. Now, Brooke, of course, is only at 10 cents after two packs, so not gonna get sneak into last place, but could put themselves in a good position. A good a good striking distance, that's right, yes. We got the Cutie Fly, the Drillbird, mm. the Relor is gonna score, the Ponytail, the Keldeo, the Iron Jugulus, the Delmize will uh. score, the Frostmoth will not. Oh, oh the Grotto! The Grotto! Oh, it's the same one we were just talking about it's but better I like it with a little little Merrill's so there good. on it yeah, and the Iron it. Valiant to, well to close I haven't out. seen this one at all don't let me forget the extra point for yep. the grass type so 164 let's see it's gonna be worth two dollars 67 cents so, so three, three four, four five six seven, seven. points there on go. the pack there god that's a great grottle way great well grottle. done to Veva man now, unfortunately, there is just a better Grottle that exists, so that almost makes every other one unplayable, but nonetheless. But now you can just display nine. it in your portfolio. Right. But it's no sun drenched shell Grottle, am I right? All right, next up is Cartavian. Cartavian. Dude, this isn't, no, Chrysara is the one who has blades for arms, not Cartavian. There we go, okay. Yeah. Is it me or is it you? I think, I, I think it's you. Okay, we'll go for we'll it. Just, yeah, go yeah. for it. Well, yeah. yeah, so Cartavian I think I went in. twice in a row a few times. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. No worries, no worries. All right, so we got Absolutely Cartavian madness. for Team Fire, six points coming into the day. We got the Dark Teardrop Energy for them, the Medicham, the Tranquil, the Mr. Mime, the Raichu, the Sharpedo, the Metagross. Rosary Rose double Rose points. That's worth two, the Roly Coley one. Won't score the rose oh, rate as a critical as hit. As a critical hit, oh, and then the metal metal. metal. Oh my gosh! At least it's a five point. It's a ten, ten point, point pack. But that is the most remarkable ten point pack possibly ever. I know. Like, yeah, with I the mean, worst card. This this card is worth two cents. Two cents. Zero Terrible. two. Yes. So, but you're getting one, two, three, four, five. Times two with the critical hit, yeah. 10 points. Man, that's a wild one. <laughs> that is a wild one. The ways in which people can score, it's like there's there continues to be new ways that we just haven't seen yet. So it's gonna bring uh, 16 points to Cartavian. 
Yes, indeed. And so was it, yeah, so fire, fire has already jumped up a little bit today, thanks to the efforts of Dom, but I actually believe that that effort right there will move them up by another three to 220 points, if I can keep my math straight, Man. for Team Fire. But so it's still all for naught if anyone can't beat Electric. But I mean, chip it away, chip it away. I mean, you're, you're doing what you gotta do. Okay. Backpack and Magic. Ben. Backpack Magic. Here we go. For Jackinator and Dakinator. For Jackinator and Dakinator, who have a single point and five cents to go. So they are one of the few people who can dethrone Brooke from last place. Right, okay, okay. Now that said, we just pulled a Mel Metal, but this is Backpack Magic. This is Backpack Magic. So let's go. Bam, okay. Lightning Energy, that's what we wanted, oh, but that's not that's it. it. That ain't yeah, it. That's not it. <laughs> the Metatite, Turtonander, Colossal, Perilous Jungle, Unfazant, Delcaddy, Metacham, and Iron Valiant. No! Oh my god. Such a miss on the pine kill of all cards. Let's look at number 80, just, just for the insult to injury factor. Oh yeah, what is this Iron Valiant? 14 cents. 14 so it cents. Would, it would have been more high powered than yeah. what Brooke has seen with her 10 so cents. Brooke, Brooke was safe either way, but now she's a lot safer. Another, lot safer. another dodge and weave. By Brooke. I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh oh, uh, backpack magic. Here we go for PC. For PC with three points and Team Fire coming into the day. Only PC's uh, fourth pack ever. They're probably looking for something a little bigger. They've only ever pulled one, three, and three. Okay, okay. So PC yeah. is sort of like, I want that leaderboard. Well, let's go. They're like and charting upwards. That's right. And so whenever we go for the backpack magic, we the, the really big thing that's on the table is there are pull rates that are consistent within booster boxes. Yeah, more or less. Going to yeah. an individual booster changes everything. Yeah, who knows? So, sky's the limit. So we've got the Mudbray, the Gaslight, the Finizen, the Dunsparce, the Cypher Maniacs, the Sauce, Sauce Buckle Score, Sauce Buckle Score, yeah. the Perilous Jungle will not, the Turdinator will not, the Behemon will not, not and the Iron, Iron Crown! That is gonna score good points. All right, let's see what AE1 does for us on the I think set. it's like nine? You are, man, amazing memory, Jay. $8.86 will round up to nine, 10 points. Plus so 10, that's gonna bring 13 for PC. So PC on a very slow but steady upward trajectory. There we go, very love to see it. Yes, very impressive, well done to PC. They've only ever moved up or even, so we'll have to keep an eye on them. Moving forward, well nice, done. Nice to see the, the Backpack Magic do something. I know, yeah. Backpack Magic, yeah. there you go. In case you're wondering, like, oh no, I don't want the backpack. Maybe, Maybe you, you do. do. Maybe you do, you never know. All right, next up is our first Rookie of the Day contender. It's Rachel Fountain. Okay. And a couple of Rachels in the mix now. Who do you think they are, Lauren? <laughs> Seriously. Come on. <laughs> Any Rachels out there now are like scrambling. They're like, that's, that's it, it. That's I'm signing it. up. That was the moment. Team Rachel versus Team Lauren, let's that's go. It. I'm committing. Man, I'm committing, I'm getting a flex. All right, let's see, what do we got here for? We have the Metal Energy. Pikachu, Ghastly, Algium, Sizzlepede, Umphazon, Sendiscorch, Palaf, and the Relor will score the Arbok will not. Oh, oh no, man. no, no, Metal. Wow, I was hoping for some more rookie magic today, but it was not there, at least not yet. At least not yet, so Rachel gets two points two on the points. rookie debut, but there that's you okay, go. you know, it's a, it's a tough arena to like step into we and have like all your confidence. We can't all be Steven N. Exactly, I mean, barely any of us can. I know, <laughs> in the history of the game. All right, next up we have Ratlark. Ratlark. Ratlark, let's see, are a couple, name is a combo of their last names. Okay, all right. All oh, right. that's fun. Yeah, just started collecting Pokemon cards. This is their second pack. Their second pack, Ever for, for Team La Ratlark, we got the Chetot, the Cottony will yep. score, the Carvana, the Ekans, the Electivire, the Chinchino, the Sableye, OH, THE MASTER BALL! There's one, there's one, okay, we got the Mawile, which will not score, and, and the, the Iron, Iron Thorns, Thorns, the Cozumel. Man, all right. How do you feel about the Master Ball, any thoughts? I feel like, well, it, I don't know if it's like one of the higher end ace specs, I think the Max Belt and the, the Catcher are the big ones, but Master Ball is such like an iconic item. It is indeed, so $9.19, so 10, 11, 12. 12. 12. So not bad for Team Electric. There you go. Up 12 points or 14 for Ratlark on the season. And so the Master. Someone to watch out for as we get further down into that, that third pack there. Love it. All right, next up we have got Methy. Methy. For Methy. Team Grass, Methy three points grass. coming into today. Can they score some points for Grass? Get them back in contention. It only takes one big pack. Just you know? one big pack. That's the thing is like we talk about people who have like low scores coming into the day as being like potentially less of a contender, but that's not the case. Not the case. Yeah, you we know? saw Look a rookie last They week. had zero. Zero. No. All right. Turtwig, Wiglet, 
Rapidash, Boltson, Mudsdale, Fortress, Carcoal, and oh, the Iron Boulder. There we go, 192. There we go. Iron Boulder. Man, let me grab some sleeves from you over Do here. Do it. Whoop. It's our first one of the season, at least as far as my highlighting is concerned. So one dollar seventy-one cents. We're really? just two for the two iron. Three, three points. points. Man, well, man, I would have thought that'd have been higher because it's like full art card. But I know you, you certainly think so, but that's all right. I mean, getting a full art card inside of the scope of the game, it's never going to be a sad day for you. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have got a crowd favorite, a veteran of the game. It's Bubsy. Bubsy. Here we go. Bubsy only has two points this season. Okay. For team Fire. Here we go. What are we gonna throw down? Eyeball, eyeball energy, energy. no multiplier the, yet. The TD, Bronze or Mudbray, Ghastly, Excadrill, Keldeo, the Dalmize will score. Ekans will not. Keldeo oh, will hit. a critical hit on the, the Roaring, Roaring Moon. So, so just, just a four point pack man. even with the critical hit. Uh, uh, someone's someone's gonna get it. Someone's gonna get it. It's amazing how often it happens. I know. It's like I the know. exact right frequency to not make it too much or too little. Right, you're right, it is. It's like, you know, if every pack was crazy, yeah, it wouldn't be worth having the rule. Would, exactly. You know, it's like, ah, oh, this is kind of weird. Yeah. All right, next up, who do we have here? It is Alyssa okay. coming in with four packs. How long has Alyssa been playing? Ooh, whole time. Whole time. The whole time since season two? Season two. Wow. Well, Bam. thank you, Alyssa. There you go. Commitment Bam. to the Bitman. Dark Teardrop. Meryl, Golet, Dunspar, Snom, Eerie, Colossal, Boxed Order, Wiglet, oh, oh the Melton! There we go! I mean, if you're gonna get a Melton, that's the way to do it. And then the Relicant, so let's see, is this worth anything? Uh, number 179. 179. On How are our points looking? Just $1.88. As far as I know, it's the first one we've gotten, though, so two points All for right. that one on the there Illustration Rare. Well, three points total. Chalk it up on the board. There we go. So seven points on the season for Alyssa. Cool Meltan, though. Cool Meltan. Do like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. All right. Next up, we have got, oh, it's our next rookie, Ben. It's PK. PK. Woo. PK. Okay. Like a penalty kick. Like a penalty kick. Or like that, that, um, that bar in Blacksburg, PK's. Oh, yeah, of course. The highly relatable to most people. Exactly. You can go there on a Thursday night for the Tijuana Toss, and you flip a coin, and if you call it right, you get free pizza. How about that? Let me tell you how often we didn't call it right. <laughs> like, oh, man, did we just get six pizzas and pay for five of them? What are the odds? It feels like it should be three of them. It was not. It was not. No, yeah, you're always like, well, last time it was tails, so it'll usually probably be heads next time. <laughs> <laughs> We got the Dirt Wig, which will score, the Pugiana, of the Wiglet, the Arbok, the Great Tusk, the Morty's Conviction, the Shift Shiftry will score, the Metatite will not, the Bramblegast will twice, twice. and the Bianca's oh, hey, there we go. There we go, nice not so bad. full art action there. Let's see, can Bianca get you any points? Let's see, number 197, $3.43. Okay, so that's so four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points, not eight bad. Points. There you go, PK. That might be, I think we only have, how many rookies in the day? I, just, I believe just two. Just two, that might be enough for PK to head to the Olive Garden. There we go. Congratulations to PK. You I flipped know. a coin and you were right and you didn't get a free pizza, but you did get some free breadsticks out That's of it. Right, exactly. Which, by the way, I mean, if any other restaurant is out there like, hey, what do we have to do to get this sort of like recognition? You feel, you're free to sponsor the show. I know. It's amazing how you we know. keep lobbing it out there. Nobody but the Olive Garden is taking it up on us, which is to say that <laughs> they didn't. They didn't at all. It's just, we're just really committing to the bit at this point. <laughs> all right, but next up we have Reagan. Ray or Ray Raygon? Ray Raygon. Ray Raygon. Ray yes. Yeah. Raygon. There, there we go. go. All right. Raygon. Who has a single point and five cents. So could sneak out Brook. Could be. Could Let's be. See. There could is the happen. potential on the table. The that Mel Metal would do it with seven cents total rare card value. I know. Which would be All unbelievable. right. But no. They no. got the see it out oh, and the deer like. Oh, but you know what? Man, I can see peeking out of the ace spec. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pinking out. The pinking then, out yeah, it is. Yeah. The perilous jungle. The Heroes, Heroes cave. cave! There, there it is. Go. Oh, and a critical hit! It happened again! And the for alligator! There oh we go. Gosh, so we do amazing. have a multiplier. And with the for alligator here, let me go ahead and censor that for you. Keep it family friendly. That's yeah. that's right indeed. Alright, so the Heroes Cave comes in at ten dollars thirty-seven cents. We'll round up to eleven. Eleven? 12, 13, 14 times two is going to be a 28 point pack. 28 point pack for Team Electric. Bam! As if they needed more help. I know. So let me just see really quick for Team Electric. That means that they do, in they fact, do. score. They score yes. five points off that. Yeah. Man. Yep. How about that? That is impressive. It's actually, actually it's going to be six points because their total will be 29. 29. Total. Right. So, wow. Man. That's crazy. And they got that hair skin. The A specs, man. They cannot believe it. Uh, you know, I'm really enjoying this, though, from like a pull rates perspective. 
perspective because it has meant that every box has had two yeah. like hard hitting cards yes. and they've shown up in big ways. They really have. It's the second uh, week in a row they've hit a critical hit. Last time, of course, they also got the type advantage, so that was nice, but man, that's crazy. All right, next up, we've got Margo. All right, Margo. Has Margo won in the past? I think Margo was on the top of the board for a while. She's had some big finishes, 37, 81, 25. Oh, okay, so they they are doing pretty solid here. Let's see, wait, did, is this their first pack? Okay, yes, 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 okay, yes. 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 Okay, all right, so Margo, let's see what we can do for you there. So we got the Fireball Energy, would have been good last week, but not this one. We got the Finizen, the Dunsparce, the Snom, the Pikachu, the Electivire, the Chinchino, Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Azumarill will not squash, Salvatore will not, and, and the Incineroar. To close out, number 34, it's a front pager, 63 cents, just a single point for Margo, but still getting that, that full art card. So, there you go, very yeah, nice. Never a sad day to have a pack open for you and have Indeed. a full art card head in your direction. All right, so. thank you, Margo. Go. All right, next up we've got Lauren. Take that, Rachel. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is of course Master Lauren. Master Lauren. Name of the Wind fame. No doubt, no doubt. Literally, they have a Name of the Wind themed work from home office, which is the best kind of work from home office you can have. I know, indeed. If I can even tell you how much Jay and I are currently flirting with the idea of starting a Name of the Wind podcast, I, I can't. It's just that we want to. <laughs> we want to. <laughs> like, can we do it? Do we have the do time? Do we have the time? Our editors in the other room are like, like don't do don't it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but like the chapters are also so much longer than Harry Potter or sometimes they're not sometimes they're like a page like a half page Yeah, you're like well, that's yeah. this week. All right. Let's see. We've got Mudbread, Minchino, Rockruff, Litten, Screamtail, Sableye, Iron Valiant Oh, Iron critical hit on the Iron Valiant Alliance, the Electabuzz and the Bramble Gas, which will be worth two points so just right, four yeah. points so on four the pack. Points total. All right, there so that brings go. Master Lauren up to ten points overall ten on points the season. Overall. Not going to move the needle on the team competition at all, but ten points nonetheless. Next up, we have Alara Evergreen. Alara Evergreen. Oh, that's a great name. It is indeed. Sounds I like, like you. Love the alliteration. Sounds like somebody could be, uh, like you know, from the. The Hunger Games franchise. Yes, Ilara Evergreen. My theory for a, a beat now has been that uh, Katniss's grandmother was potentially, or maybe grandfather, I think it would have to be because of the naming convention yeah. at bare minimum if you want to subscribe to it. Uh, they all have color based names. The Covey do. The Covey do, yes, yeah. indeed. And I think that the uh, Everdeen was an evolution of Evergreen, right. and it was formerly a color, and they changed it so that they weren't associated with the Covey. Which you wouldn't want to be after one Coriolanus Snow becomes president. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it all comes together. We've got the Sea Dot, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Pie Dove, the <clears throat> Bianca's Devotion, the, I can't ever say it, the Explorer's Guidance, the Noctowl will not score, the Chinchino uh. will not score, and the Bramble, Bramble Gas again. again! So one, two, three, four, Four, there it is. For Alara and uh, Alara was another five cent one pointer though, so they were hoping for something kind of small there, but <sighs> this bad. is the problem with the, the salad type advantage. It, it lends itself to a lot of extra points. It does indeed. It's just too competitive. It makes it fun for us though. <laughs> it <so>. does. <laughs> Here comes Matthias for Team Grass as well. Got 10 points on the board already. Can they get something big and uh, claw some points back? They need over 25, I believe. 25? Yeah. But 10 going into the day is not, not a bad position to be not in. Not bad. So. Water, energy, the pine co will help. The better type, Turtonator, Unfazant, Eerie, Centiscorch, the Deering, the Lickitung, and the Grampa. So, so just, just three. three Going to bring them up to 13 on the season. Oh boy. Whew. And Jay, this next this next pack is going to be it's going to be interesting to say the least. Oh, it is. This is a very important pack for the season and for our current leader Steven N because next up is Rozzy the King. 110 points on one pack. One pack so sitting far. in second place. And so like what's interesting about this is that Rozzy's at 110 after one pack. Steven will only end up with two packs on the season because he was a, a mid-season joiner. Uh, Rozzy will have three on the season. Okay. So he's got two more packs to catch up. All right, so we've got the eyeball energy. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a good omen off got the, the top. Scyther, got that Scyther. The Sizzlepeed, the Merrill, the Golet, the Great Tusk, the Delcaddy, the Explorer's Guidance, the Poochiana will not score, the Hand Trimmer will not score, and the oh, Alligator. But, oh my gosh, you get the mark look, on It feels of them. like a good omen. It's like this This wasn't the pack, but. It wasn't the pack, but either which way, um, also, Team Fire will. will 
tick themselves up two more points either way, because everything that adds to Rozzy's adds That's to true. overall team score. That's true. So. so there you go. At the very least, you get the two your two scoring cards, or the two cards we're marking up. Let me go ahead and push this button again, so that you can see them as I say it. B -b -b bam Very cool. So, awesome. Very, very fun. beautiful. Very fun. Well done to Rozzy. Oh, oh, well I, saw, I saw that, like, it was waiting until the the fourth episode this month, and I was yeah. like, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. I just I want to see what happens. So 112, and what are, they, what are they reaching for? 132? 132. Oh, so it's going to be at least, that at is least a tough 21 one. They points. They need a 21 point back. Well, more than that, because Steven will get at least a point. Yeah. yeah. That could be, that's that's a tall order for Rozzy, but you know what? 110 was a tall order, and they did it. And they so. did it. Here we go. Next up, we have got... Um, Tim and Tenick. Tim and Tenick. For Team Fire as well. Yes. So this one's kind of interesting because Rozzy did 110 first pack to the second pack. Tim and Tenick did two, so I can only expect that this would be 110. Be 110. Well, yeah. let's see. What do we got? Is it my turn? Oh, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Here we go. Run the uh, Tim and... Oh, Tim and, Ten Tim and Tonic. Tim and Tenick? Tim and Tenick. I they run a craft cocktail TikTok. Oh, which that's makes me fun. think Tim and Tonic. Unless like the, gin and tonic. Right. right but I don't know. Well. Unless they have right. a friend named Kenick. And sure, sure. Right. Also possible. Yep. Shroomish. Scores. Rescue board. Rabombi. Hand trimmer. Sharpedo. Litten. Nope. And the walking wake will get you. Yeah. I want to say just a single point, but we'll double check it. Double check as per always. We want to be sure 80 cents. Yeah, oh, just man. one point on that just one. Just two point there for Tim and Tenick. Very close. Two points on the pack. There Might we go. Be tonic. I don't know. This is another one. I have to get, I have to get Kat to check this one. <laughs> All right. Next up is Blood Vamp, rival of Andriana. Here we go. They're coming in with four points. They have three black cats. Okay. All right. Go is that enough it. to switch your luck? For good luck, yeah, absolutely. One is bad, two is good, three is back to bad. It's like, oh yeah, wait, I don't know. That, how do three left turns work? Yeah, right, three left turns make a right? There yeah. we go, yeah. All right, so we've got the Dark Tear, Dark, we've got Pine Cobble Score, yep. Mawile, Metatite, Turtonator, Latias, Ancient Booster, Iron Tread, the Golet will not score, the Iron Jugglers will not score, and the Whimsicott will score twice. Boy, we've had just so few chase cards in this episode. I know, so just, yeah, it's been, it's been a little, it's been a little on the low side. Raygon got that 28 points. Um, I think thanks to the uh, the Master Ball. Yeah. But that, that's about the, the most action we've really seen today. Ratlark did okay with 12. You know, there's normally like at least also like a gold somewhere in there. Always possible. Think. Yeah. We'll see. There's plenty of packs still to go. Next up, we've got Chris. Chris. For Team Water coming in at eight points thus far. Training for his first marathon, although that was back in season four. Probably ran it. Congrats. Yeah, way to go. Well done. Finishing. I thought we've also probably congratulated them. Like we'll probably say times. that, yeah, every time. Here we go. Rock is pummeling. The Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Breloom will score. The Buddy Buddy Poffin will score. Iron Treads, Boxed Order, Elgam, Pikachu, and Roaring Moon for a five point pack. Five point pack for Chris. There we go, three for the Buddy Buddy Poffin. The best the best single non-rare card we've ever had. Well, so that, that means that Chris has 13 points on the season, which is the same distance as a half marathon. Well, so that's, you know, that's That counts for, for half. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we've got Lily. Lily for Team Grass. Loves chess and cricket. Has two points so far. Cricket is the best just like words that go with the game. Most of them sound made up and I can't remember any of them. <laughs> but you could just be like, oh, he's hit a wiki walkie to the, the snasty gas in the backfield there. And he'd be like, that was a perfectly regular cricket sentence, probably. Probably, yeah, yeah. there we go. All right, so we got the Elgium, the Meltan, the Nuzleaf, Nuzleaf. will score, the Manchina, the Iron Hands, the Morty's Conviction, the Shift Shiftry will score, the Iron Thorns will score, the Shandy so Shocks will not, and the Drampa Grandpa. will. So All one, right. two, three, four points for Lily and Team Grass. Getting there in some weird ways. Still waiting on waiting on something. I feel like there's there's gotta oh, be there's something. There's gotta be a thing that breaks in this there's episode. There's something left. Next up we have Josh, aka Josh. Josh and Josh for Josh. Team Fire with just exactly. one point coming into the day. How many cents though? Fifty one cents. Okay. So not a great one point, but you never know. You never know. I mean Brooke could always pull two and then right. and then that's it. You only need everyone in front of you to mess up. Which is very easy for the last place competition. It is indeed. It is indeed. Yeah. Let's see. What do we got here? The electric energy, unfortunately, it's not gonna be your day. You got the scythe they're scoring for you. The, the Bramblin, Bramblin, the Rabska, Rabska. Full Metal Lab, the Sableye, the Cutie Fly, and the D Dunsparce for a four point pack there. No critical hits, but I will sign the Scyther for you. Hey, there we go. Awfully generous of you. Thank you, thank you. There you go. Ba bam. Dunsparce, those are going to come your way. 
Here we go. You got it. You got it. Whoop. All right, next up we've got, oh, it's one of our favorites. Herbert Chorley. Herbert Chorley. Mm. Harry Potter fame. Yes, yes indeed, yes. Junior assistant to the British Prime Minister. Be be behaved quite like a duck, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's see, we've got the fireball Ooh, energy. Fire energy. I don't think we've seen a whole lot of uh, uh, type advantages on the No, day. it doesn't seem like it, it hasn't been a lot of grass. The Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Preloom, the Roly Coley, the Bunny Bunny Puffin, the Lycan Rock, the Del Caddy, the Snom, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, and the Maridon. Oh, right so another five point pack. Another five point pack. We're seeing like, like very medium scores. I know, I feel like last time that these two came together too, the Breloom and the Buddy Buddy Poffin. That was sort of a, must be, must be packed together. Yes, must be. As it goes. All right, next up we've got Brick Frog. Brick Frog! Brick Frog, who's actually coming in 17 cents single point on the okay. on the season, so not in a bad position here. Could, can... could be a contender for last place. I don't think we've had any, like, new contenders for last place on this episode, though. I don't think we have. Nope, nope, yeah. yeah. All right, Dark Tear drop there. Heat more. Yamper will, will score. score. Oh, Torcat man. will score. Gru no, that was last week. No, no, no. It would still. It will oh, still it score because of grass type. Yep. We got there. We got this. Rabombi, Iron Hands, Duosian, the Lycan Rock, and the Flutter Main. Man. man. Felt sort of, like it was close to something happening. It did, it did, Random indeed. selection of Pokemon getting you points, but only going to total four and bring you probably out of last place contention. Man, so our last several packs have been a four, five, four, four, five, three. So you it's guys, just like... Pick it up! Come on! Come on. I know, I mean, really, it's probably us who needs to pick it up. We're doing our best over here, okay? You know, I mean, yeah. lay off a little bit. All right, here we go. Who do we have here, Ben? Annika? Annika. Like Harmonica. So, okay, so Annika's a big one because Annika will will score for Team Water no <laughs> right. matter what. She's so, got 36. 36 points coming into the day. So Annika has been performing. I do feel like this box seems like it should have something else left to give. Annika's not in a bad spot to be the recipient of such a thing. We got the Rockus Pummeling Energy. We got the Rockruff. The Litten That's will not more. score the Shroomish will, though, the Lickitung, the Bianca's Devotion, the Iron Jugulus, the Lycan Rock, the Turninator will not score, the Zero Aura will not score, and the Flutter Main! Oh, just, just two, two It does get added to Water's total, because she's in the top five scorers, but only two points. Only two. Mm. So a little, little bit of shifty going on up there on the top of the, the team leaderboard. But it does get harder this far into the season to see those making significant changes. It does. All right, next up we've got Tempest Blade, favorite Pokemon Luxray, Pyroar, Lucario, and Entei. So there's some uh, there's some anti inspired Pokemon in this set if you can get the gouging fire. There you go. Yeah. Which we've seen uh, some some good points go down. With. We have yes. That last week, whew, I got that great illustrator art one. Beautiful. That was insane. That was a cool one. Bam. All right. Eyeball energy. Nothing huge there. Giraffe the Roselia, the Cutie Fly, Drillbird, Golurk, the Shaman, or the Alligator. Oh wait, no, the Frogator doesn't score, does it? Yeah, oh, it, it does. does. It does. It does I'm sorry. Yeah. Charger Bug and Karaidon. There we go. There you go. That's going to be a four point pack for you. I'll go ahead and mark up your for alligator just there for you good go. Uh, safety. You know? Everybody's like, oh, so great. I know, right? I like that we have this this markup game happening. <laughs> right. <you know? laughs> That's a little more fun. It does indeed. All right. That's four points there. Make sure we write it down. Bam, bam. Whoop. All right. Coming your way, Tempest Blade. Enjoy that for alligator. All right, here we go. Another single point five center right here, Brooke. Okay. Are they ready to dodge again? They might need to be because they have Valdivia coming at them. All How right. are they going to do? How will they fare? We got the eyeball energy, the heat more, the camper will oh, score. Oh no! The Torah cat will the score. The grub, the same will score. three. You're right. Future booster energy capsule, the iron hands, the heavy baton, the nuzzle, the, the buddy buddy, buddy the and scissor. the scissor. Oh wow! Okay, so okay, never this, mind. This is a totally different turn. What is Brooke? What is Brooke cooking, man? I don't even know. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Wow, so eight points out of nowhere there for Valdivia. Man, Boy. okay, that was I that was impressive. So many people are so like they're like in good positions, and then and then it's just and then it's nothing. It just and mounts up. Nothing. And I think yeah, the thing about Brooke is that yeah, I mean he's just been such a high performer in the know, in the show. I so. know. I can't believe the consistency of some players there for a game that should be so random. Oh, is it? Did I just pull? 
Oh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, here, I'm gonna put this back then. Oh, all right, Mason and her dog. Yeah, there we go. Here, here we go. go. Next up, we've got Kitten Ninja. Kitten Ninja, more Kitten like it. Kitten Ninja is looking for uh, to break the mold here because their last three packs have all been two points. And before that, three and three. So they're hoping for something a, li a little bit bigger. Something's gotta break. Something's gotta give, you know? Got the knocked out, the crocodile, the licky licky, the rescue board, the sandy shocks, the hand trimmer, the rebombi, the shifter you will score. <laughs> oh no! Gosh, Kitten Ninja two again? Two again. Four in a row? Oh, back to man. back to back to back? To back? Woo. You hate Woo. to see it. You hate to see it. You do hate to see it. You hate to see it. But, you know, that's just how the cards, you know, open so <laughs> That's right. That's right. So there you go. Here we go. How many packs do we have left we here, Ben? three packs three left. Three packs to go. We, we got, have got Crafty Chick for Team Fire. So yeah, so here we go. So we got two more for Team Fire left who are just aiming to, uh, to, to take something down yeah. on Team Electricity. Crafty Chick in a similar boat. Her best pack ever was in a single pack in Season 7 for nine points. Otherwise, has not cracked three points on a pack. Okay, okay, so Crafty yeah. Chick is like, okay guys, I'm paying my dues over here. Like, let me in. Let's do it. Got the Frost Moth, the knock, knocked Owl, the Croconaw, the Licky Licky, the Mist oh. Energy will score, the Sandy Shocks, the Bohemian, the Pineco will score, the Omphazant will not, and the Magargo yeah. will. So Dude, one, two, is, three, four. It is their otherwise best pack since season seven. Wow! <laughs> there you go. Well, season nine, they had a four point pack too, so there okay, you go. Okay, okay, okay. So, right. like, yeah. a, like a lukewarm victory. Hey, hey, hey <laughs> something. Yeah, there you go. All hey. right. Got that Magargo. Magargo. Let's Magargo. Boy, if I could put these all together in order. Goodness be gracious. It's been since Raygon since we had anything really thrilling happen. We've, well, we've had uh, just eight, an eight point pack is the highest in the past, like, oh, about 15. Oh boy. All right. Well, we've got up uh, as, a, as a longtime player is Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute, who we know in the past has uh, won a last place award. Yes, and right now they're rocking, what, two points on the season though, so probably not there for last place this time. Maybe not so much. Let's see, but who knows, maybe something big pushes Electric further into the lead. We've got Water Energy, Relor, Ponytor, Chatdoc, Cottony, oh, Vicavolt, Latias, Great Tusk, Future Energy Castle, oh, Heat more? Nope, okay. And the Iron Boulder. Iron Boulder, what number is it? Number it is, 99 on the set. Feels like a one pointer to me. It does indeed, 51 cents, so just a single Goodness. point. Man, so we're really fighting hard here at the end of the box, so three points on the pack, last five week, points on the season. Last week was such a banger. It was. And this week, not so much. All right, we are on to our final pack of the day. Will we have some last pack magic? This is their third pack ever for Witch Storm. Okay, how have they been doing so far? Well, they've got one point and 14 cents. Okay. And before that, four points on the single pack season 10. Okay. So these are, they, oh, but this is like a, this is like a, a group watch party. They're friends with Cartavian oh, and no love way. watching the show with him. I love it. Okay, all right, all right Witch okay. Storm, here, here we go. We got Let's this. Let's go. And Last it's like, pack you magic. guys are like, we waited till the very end. We got the Charger Bug, the Slugma, the Solosis, the Skitty, the Salvatore, the Palafin, the Screamtail, the Girafferig, oh, the, the Relican! There we fun. go! And the Karaidon. Right, right. Well, at least we had something fun for Number Last Pack Magic. Number there we go. 173. Love to see it. $3.79. So it rounds four. up to four, five. <coughs> and five. On the pack. Takes them out of last place, and but is a six point, uh, total for the season thus far, and that is going to bring us to the end of mm. month number two. Holy cow, man. This has been this has been a wild and crazy season and month in I particular. Know. We've I seen know. we've seen so much going down. Today was today was light, to be fair, yeah. but there's a little bit of shifting going on in the team competition. It'll be interesting to see how everything shakes out once we get all the points like tabulated and, and verified and everything. So I'll be looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to uh, next month because every single pack we open Open will be the final pack for everybody. Which I know. Means we're going to start to really lock in some of these scores. So I know. It'll be fascinating to see where Brooke falls in that equation. I, know. I feel like there's only like two or three people down at the bottom for the two points. I know. Yeah. It is, it's yeah. going to be a very tight race. So all I mean, there there is a world like we keep talking about it as if somebody will get three points on the season, but there's always that world where no one does. Or no one does. So yeah, we'll just have to keep an eye on it right there. And then you just never know. Even the top spot, they seem like they have such a big lead, Stephen N. But like one pack can ruin it. We've one, seen it so many times. 
times. We have. I mean, I really, I didn't think there was a world where Rosie the King could go down. Oh, me neither. Me neither. I was, I was like, like, that's like, just they it. Got that's it. our champion. They got it. So anyway, it has been it has been such a thrilling season. Thank you guys so much as ever for your support. This is a fully Patreon driven show, so we couldn't do it without you, quite literally. Um, and if you too would like to see us open a pack for you, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama!